What up guys, it's Red on Sports News. Today we're going to be continuing Ranked Fridays. This is going to be a weekly segment. We're picking it up as a weekly segment. And this week is going to be top three safeties in the league right now. And this was a tough list because there's just a whole bunch of players that, do, you know, you, you could make an argument for one, two, and three. And really there's a lot of safeties that I know people are going to say, well, why, why'd you miss this guy? Why'd you miss this guy? And I'm just going to talk about the guys that did miss my list and guys that could potentially make the list in up and coming years. I'm going to say that Earl Thomas missed my list. And I know a lot of, there's a lot of Seattle Seahawks fans out there that think that Earl Thomas is the best in the league. And had it been a couple of years ago, I probably would have put him there. I probably would have put him there maybe 2016. But, you know, he's getting older. He's getting injured. He's getting injury prone. I'm just, I'm not liking Earl Thomas. And you can say Devin McCourty. But, you know, he's just not putting up the numbers he used to. You can say Eric Weddle. Just not putting up the numbers he used to. Although I think he's up there in interceptions pretty good every single year, but just as a form of a of a playmaker, game changer. I'm not seeing Eric Weddle on this list. Malcolm Jenkins, maybe four, three, four years ago, you would have put Malcolm Jenkins on here. But just not 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 this year. Not this year. Not right now. Can't put him on there. And I think guys that you need to look on for up and coming years that I did not put on this list would be Keanu Neal of the Atlanta Falcons. Guy finished second in tackles among DBs this year. What's putting him off for me right now and to not put him on this list, he only had one interception last year. He he hasn't really grown into a big interception machine, which he may never do. He may just be that big hitter guy that's going to help you out in the run game, guy that's just going to stop you. He may not be that interception machine, but if he does, watch for him to put out in the top three. And another interesting one that I absolutely love is bear safety, Eddie Jackson out of Alabama. Ended up having two interceptions last year. I think he finished middle of the pack among safeties and tackles. But I absolutely love this guy. He's a lockdown safety. He has potential to be the next big thing, the next Earl Thomas. I absolutely love Eddie Jackson. Watch for him, on, especially on a Chicago Bears team that has definitely gotten a lot younger, has gotten a lot more talent. Eddie Jackson is a guy to watch out for. Love Eddie Jackson. So, let's get into the top three, the three guys that I have. Number three, we're going to start off with number three, and I'm going to put down Rashad Jones out of the Miami Dolphins. He ended up leading defensive backs and tackles last year with 122 tackles. Ended up having two interceptions, and this will be his ninth season. He's going into his ninth season in the league. And for a guy who's been around so long, a guy that's put up decent seasons in the past, this was by far his best season last year, but a guy who's definitely put up very good seasons in his career, I just feel he's extremely underrated. Nobody really talks about him. And what I love about him is he is a big hitter, and he's a guy that's going to step up for you when the game's on the line on the road. He's not a guy that just, you know, he'll play at home. You know, he's not somebody who feeds off the crowd, although he does he does play very well at home. He just steps it up to a whole other level on the road when most of the time on the road is much more needed. And that's why I just love Rashad Jones. He's a big-time player. I love his hitting ability. He's a run stopper. I absolutely love Rashad Jones. Great player. He's third on my safety list. Number two on my safety list. And I know I'm probably going to catch a lot of flack for this, but I'm going to have to put Kevin Byard at number two. I'm putting Kevin Byard at number two. And a lot of people do think he should be number one. I believe NFL the NFL ranked him the number one safety in the league, and mainly because of his one-year success last year. He ended up putting up 87 tackles, which was, I believe, top 10. 
but it's still 35 off from Rashad Jones. And he ended up putting up eight interceptions, which was league leading. Well, well I believe it was tied for number one. And eight interceptions, that's, that's a big number. It's a big number, especially for DBs. You know, it's, well, not especially for DBs because they're the only ones that can get that number. But it's, it, either way, it's a big number. I have no clue what I was just trying to say, but it was a big number. He's going to be going into his third season in the league. And what I love about Kevin Byard is that when the Titans are in the lead, Titans are in the lead, six of his 11 interceptions have come when they're in the week, when they're in the lead. And four of those six interceptions while they're in the lead has come when they're in the lead by eight or less, one possession, which is just really big because that gives you game clincher status. I'm in my books, that is game clincher status. If you can step up when a team is one possession behind, they're trying to get back, you just score, you get an interception, you put the ball right back in your offense's hands, that is game clincher status. That is big. That is probably one of the biggest stats that gets overlooked in the NFL. Absolutely love that stat, and Kevin Byard steps up in is one of the best, if not the best, in that stat. Just interceptions and big time scenarios, that's big. That's big, and that is Kevin Byard. And eight interceptions, come on. Let's go. Number one, and this was a big one, and it's controversial. I can understand it's controversial, but I'm going to have to put Landon Collins of the New York Football Giants at number one. And this guy put up 104 tackles. Keep in mind, now Rashad Jones put up 122. Keanu Neal put up 117, I believe, around there. Keep in mind, only three safeties. Actually, only three defensive backs as a whole. All three of them are safeties. Put up 100 or more tackles. Only three. That happened to be Rashad Jones, Keanu Neal, Landon Collins in that order. And that, for, for a defensive back to have 100 tackles, is a huge, huge, huge help. And I think it's a stat that not a lot of people look at, especially for safeties. Of course, everybody, tackles are the big stat, but people overlook it for safeties. It, it's, it's an interesting one because that shows that you can help out in the running game, it shows that you're obviously helping out in the passing game. If you're not getting the interception, you're tackling the guy. And a lot of that has to deal with the slot, the inside routes for the safeties to cover. And Landon Collins is one of the best at it. He put up two interceptions last year, one forced fumble. And he played great when it was needed. He's another guy that... Either when they were they were behind, when they were behind, he ended up putting up big numbers, locking down people, and getting the interceptions. Both his interceptions this year, I believe, were were when they were behind, trying to come back when they were just one possession behind. And that is another uh, with Kevin Byard when they're ahead by one possession. When Landon Collins and the Giants are behind by one possession, Landon Collins gets the job. Done. And that is a big stat for me. Not a whole... Nobody talks about it. I wish people would. But that's a big stat for me. He's going into his fourth season. And what I love about Landon Collins as well, he steps up in the fourth quarter. Who else stepped up in the fourth quarter? And this is on a side note. But my boy, Tim Tebow. Absolutely love Tim Tebow. And that guy was just a fourth quarter boss. And I put that down for Landon Collins. He is a fourth quarter boss. He takes over games in the fourth quarter. He's locked down. And what is an interesting stat, he put up 104 tackles, but his interceptions were down this year compared to previous years. He put up five last year, uh, two years ago. And everybody like, well, he's, you know, he's, he's on a downfall. You want, you want to know why? He was the least targeted safety in the league. And that's big. That's big. To his side, he was the least targeted. 
among qualifying player, players, of course. That is really big. That's really big. Because had he been targeted more, had people not been so scared of him, he probably would have placed a lot better in the interception category. Not that he had, not, not that two interceptions is bad, because he made up for it, of course, with the one forced fumble and the 104 tackles and just playing lockdown when needed. People were so scared to throw in his direction. That's why I have to put him at number one, because he is one of the most feared players in the league. I'd put him down at number one. So that's my list. That's my top three. Landon Collins, number one. Kevin Byard at number two. And Rashad Jones at number three. If you like the list, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments of what your list would be and what you think of my list. I, I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Always remember, right on, brother, and we'll see you.